Hey there, two bees. I've got some exciting news to share with you about Pink.2023, Singapore's annual LGBTQ plus event. This year, it saw a record number of parliamentarians in attendance, showing their support for the community. Now, what's really interesting is that representatives from both the ruling People's Action Party, PAP, and the Workers' Party, WP, were spotted at Pink Dot. Talk about unity. From the PAP, we had Eric Chua, a member of parliament and a senior parliamentary secretary for the Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth, MCCY, and Ministry of Social and Family Development, MSF. Eric attended the event in his personal capacity to support his close friends who are part of the LGBTQ plus community. He believes it's crucial for the government to maintain a listening ear and engage with different parts of the community. And you know what? It was his first time attending Pink Duh, even though he's always had LGBTQ plus friends. Kudos to Eric for showing his support. Now let's talk about Derek Go, an MP from Nason GRC. Derek was also there at Pink Dot, attending in his personal capacity. He expressed his excitement to be part of the first post-pandemic Pink Dot event, where people came together after enduring a tough time due to COVID-19. Derek has been vocal in his support for the repeal of Section 377A a law that criminalized consensual sex between men in Singapore. He believes in treating everyone equally and with respect. Such a positive mindset, don't you think? But wait, it's not just the PAP MPs who were present. We also had representatives from the Workers' Party. He Ting Ru and Louis Chua, both MPs and members of the party's Central Executive Committee attended Pink Dot in their capacity as Workers' Party MPs. It's fantastic to see politicians from different parties coming together to support the LGBTQ plus community. They were seen chatting with Harris Sadie, the festival director of Pink Fest and an organizing committee member of Pink Dot. That's some serious camaraderie right there. Unfortunately, the leader of the opposition, Pritam Singh, couldn't make it to Pink Dot as he was on leave. But hey, the fact that he was extended an invitation shows the inclusivity and openness of the event. Overall, Pink Dot 2023 was a huge success, marking its 15th edition and being the first Pink Dot after Singapore decriminalized sex between men. The event brought together a diverse crowd, including parliamentarians, Paralympic medalists, and countless others who showed their support. It's truly heartwarming to witness such solidarity and progress. Now, I want to hear from you, my amazing viewers. What are your thoughts on the record number of parliamentarians attending Pink Dot? Do you think it reflects a positive shift in Singapore society? Share your comments down below, and let's keep the discussion going. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, stay fabulous and spread the love.